This is the story of the prophet Jeremiah. But what is a prophet? Prophets are people who come so close to God, and God comes so close to them that they know what God wants. Sometimes people do not like the message, so they become very angry with the prophet. It's not easy being a prophet. Jeremiah lived in the great city of Jerusalem after the Assyrian army had come and gone. God said, I will make you a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah was worried because he was still so young. God said, Don't worry, I will be with you. One day, Jeremiah went all around inside and outside the city walls blowing a trumpet. The people asked him, Why are you blowing a trumpet? He said, You have gone too far away from God. It is time to come back. God says, I am the one who led you through the water into freedom and across the desert. I gave you the ten best ways to live. I am your God. You are my people. Come back. God showed Jeremiah things that would happen in Jerusalem, things so frightening that even hearing about them would make the ears of the people tingle. Jeremiah was afraid, but he did what God told him to do. He said, A nation will come and attack us like a lion. and destroy us like a wolf. But the people would not listen. Another time, Jeremiah went into the temple. He said to the people there, Pay attention. Remember the Ten Commandments. Love God and love people. Stop worshiping other gods. God says, Turn around. Change your ways, or I will tear down the temple. But still the people would not listen. Once God told Jeremiah to buy a linen belt and put it around his waist. Then God told him to take it off and hide it in some rocks. Many days later, God told him to go back and get it. But now it was ruined and completely useless. God said, The people are like this belt. They refuse to listen to my words and are now completely useless. Another day, God told Jeremiah to go buy a clay jar from a potter and take it to the valley of ben Hinmon. There, in the presence of the people, he broke the jar and said, God says, I will smash this nation and this city just as this potter's jar is smashed and cannot be repaired. Jeremiah's words made the people very angry, so angry that they put his hands and feet into pieces of wood called stocks and left him there overnight. Many more times they put him in prison. They did not want to listen. While Jeremiah was prophesying, there were false prophets throughout the country. A false prophet is someone who only pretends to speak for God. They did not tell the people the truth. The false prophets made God very sad and angry. God told Jeremiah to tell the people that God would punish the false prophets. They will eat bitter food and drink poisoned water. God told Jeremiah to warn the people not to listen to them. Jeremiah had told the truth. The Babylonians did come and destroy the city. They took the king and many of the best people to Babylon. They were in exile. They could not go home. The people remaining in Jerusalem were frightened. They did not want to be taken into exile. So they decided to run away. They went to Egypt and asked Jeremiah if this was the right thing to do. Jeremiah asked God. God said, no, they should not go to Egypt. God promised that the people would be cared for. Once again, they refused to listen, so they went to Egypt anyway. They even forced Jeremiah to go with them. Even as the city lay in ruins, 
God spoke words of hope and consolation through Jeremiah, and they were written down and kept for us to read. I will bring health and healing to the city. I will heal my people and give them peace. I will bring the people back from the exile and will rebuild the city as before. I will forgive them all their sins. A new king will be born, one who will do what is just and right in the land. The City of Jerusalem The Pyramid The Chains of Exile The Poison Cup The Bitter Food The broken pieces of clay. The worn linen belt. The ten best ways. The wolf. The lion. And the shofar trumpet. and the underlay.